Hey Virgo, I hope everybody's well. This is going to be a general love reading for the first half of October 2021, and it's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, all right, in Virgo. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. That is okay. If you want, you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. If you're interested in that, all the information is in the description box. So let's see, all right, for Virgo, the overall energy here, we have honesty. Okay, so honesty seems to be um, a theme for you in October. So maybe it's that somebody has not been 100% honest and I feel like, you know, this issue is actually going to come up to the surface in October, all right, being honest. Let's see what this is about. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First half of October. All right, for the recent past, we have the Ten of Wands. All right, so this could be a situation where, you know, it just felt like it was something within the connection was dragging on for quite a long time, and it just got to this point where somebody just felt so overburdened with everything that was happening that they feel like, you know, they're at this breaking point of releasing something, all right, within the connection. Let's see, for you, we have the Three of Wands and Judgment. Okay, so I feel like there's this um, huge realization um, that you're having within your own self when it comes to waiting. Waiting um, possibly for something here to resolve or for something to come together. It really depends. Um, something about concerning the future or just even within your own self. It could even be that you're making a decision about this, about this waiting. We'll see when we clarify. For them, we have the Eight of Wands and we have the Six of Swords. All right, so this person here that you're dealing with, it's almost like there's a drive. They have this drive. They have, um, I'm getting it as wanting to communicate or wanting to move things forward. And I feel like, yes, you know, they really do, but um, there's something here that needs to be released or something here that they need to leave in the past. We'll see. We'll see. For others of you, this could even be travel, all right, if taken um, very literally. So maybe your person is traveling, um, possibly even to see you. And it could, it could be on an energetic level as well. So I'm just going to wait until we clarify. Let's see what is coming up for you. We have the Seven of Swords. For them, we have the Hanged Man. All right, so for you, there might be a little bit of back and forth when it comes to a decision you're trying to make about the waiting. Like maybe it's... It might play out like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to wait anymore. But then there's this realization that, um, yeah, but but I still have these feelings, I can't ignore these feelings. Okay, so it feels something like that. Um, for your person, yeah, there is a little bit of hesitancy here, all right? Um, <clears throat> let's see the potential outcome. Okay, we have the Page of Wands, all right, so now we're getting somewhere. All right, it might be a small step, but it is definitely um, a very driven step because I do see a lot of drive, that's the thing, I do see a lot of motivation here but I feel like with this even with the six of swords yes it is movement but it can also be movement away from that from that drive um, because that what they want to do or what they want to say may create some stress and it's like with that six of swords they're trying to get themselves to a calmer state of being and almost like they want to avoid that stress. So let's clarify and see what is going on here. So let's clarify honesty. All right, and we have the lovers, the seven of wands, the ten of wands showing up again, and the ace of cups. All right, there's definitely a lot of love here, all right, um, between you and this person. I feel like you both feel this connection, all right? We have both the lovers as well as the Ace of Cups. Um, <clears throat> however, this has been blocked in some way. Um, 
I feel like somebody has been a little bit on guard or defensive about how it is that they feel and that is what this honesty is, right? Somebody has not been fully honest about this connection, about how they feel about this connection. And because of that, that's why we have the Ten of Wands. I feel like this has actually dragged on for quite some time now where you feel like, you know, there just has not been honesty, kind of like this um, connection has not been able to fully express itself. Like the way we both feel about each other, it's like we're both, um, I feel like you both actually might be holding back. You both might be holding back here. And it's like it's bottled up and that's why we have that Ten of Wands feeling like, okay, like the pressure of having to hold that in is getting to be too much. Uh, let's see the Three of Wands for your energy. All right, we have the Magician, the Page of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, so I feel like you you have been waiting um, possibly for this person to, um, to again, communicate, right? Page of Swords. I feel like you may have been doing um, certain things here with this Magician, possibly trying to... All right. <clears throat> I feel like there are certain actions, possibly even words, okay, just take it as it resonates, that you may have been um, engaging in or like giving off your energy to this person, but in a way where it was um, to manifest more communication, to manifest that, that honesty. And I feel like, you know, you were, you were giving to that, like you were, you were giving energy to trying that, but at the same time, it's like waiting to get that. And I feel like because we have this three of wands here, it's like you're, you're, but you're still waiting. Like that hasn't really come forth. So this, I'm not saying this in a negative way, but it, it could even be in some cases, not for all of you. And again, I don't mean it in a negative way, but it could be almost like a form of manipulation, but not in, in the bad sense. It's just doing certain things um, in a way where it's, it's to get a specific, um, result here. And that could even be what you are awakening to, which would be like a huge, um, a huge step for you in your own spiritual growth, right? To understand like the underlying motives for certain things that you might, um, be doing or the way that you are engaging. And again, it's not negative. It's just that you are becoming aware aware of that so being aware of what we're doing rather than just being on autopilot or um you know having a self-defense mechanism for you know what we're trying to do that is what can serve us in a negative way once we become aware of it it can only serve to help us so and again it's not necessarily negative let's see judgment And I mean, really, you know, <laughs> what you really want is just for this person to be honest about how they feel. So clarifying judgment, we have the three of wands <laughs> showing up again, um, the sun and the star. Yeah, you know, it's like you, this is a connection that you really want. I feel like you really want this connection and something that you again are waking up to and realizing is that you have been waiting. Maybe you've been waiting. You're realizing that you've been waiting longer than you ever thought you would have. And I feel like it, you know, you, this is why we have this 10 of wands here because you're feeling like, am I going to be waiting forever? Like when, when does this waiting end? When does this waiting stop? Like when do I finally get to this happiness? When do I finally have that success of what I've been doing? And, <clears throat> and I feel like, you know, that's one of the realizations and you might be trying to convince yourself <clears throat> to just not wait anymore or to just kind of give up on, on whatever, you know, it is that you were doing trying to get this communication to come in, if it's communication or this um, honesty or openness. 
I feel like you still you still want it, but you might not put in as much effort anymore in trying to manipulate the outcome. Kind of like, okay, you know, just leaving it up to them, leaving it up to up to fate, leaving it up to the universe, kind of a thing. So let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this Eight of Wands. All right, <clears throat> the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Right, so see, this person does also have the, these feelings for you. Like I said in the very beginning, right? I feel like it's the both of you here. You both feel the same way about each other. It's just that there's, it, you're not open about it. Like there's, it's not being expressed. Now this person does want to express this. They do, they do have the, um, that drive. Actually, they have a lot of drive. I mean, the Eight of, <clears throat> the Eight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, I would not be surprised if this person does um, <clears throat> begin communicate, begin to communicate with you, all right, in the month of October here, because there's a lot of drive. I do feel like, though, with this Knight of Swords, that there might be a little bit of in and out, but they know what their truth is. And I feel like it's, um, it's bubbling up. It's bubbling up wanting to, wanting to be expressed here, right, which is how they feel about you, this Two of Cups, the love that they have or the romantic feelings. So let's see what this Six of Swords is about. And again, with that Knight of Swords, this again, it's coming through as, for some of you, this could definitely be travel. This person might be traveling and actually see you face to face if you are, um, if you are not in contact. All right, so clarifying the Six of Swords, we have Justice and we have the Six of Swords again. There's a decision that is being made here. Um, I'm actually going to get one more. There's a decision that is being made here. Again, for some of them, it could be travel. If it's not, um, for some of you, it might not even be traveling to you, but it might just be like an actual move, like actual um, travel, which would be something very significant, like changing locations, um, <clears throat> moving to a new house. This one wants to come out. The Four of Wands. All right, we're obviously not supposed to know everything here, all right? Um, somebody's uh, moving away from whatever it is that they have been engaging in, all right? So regardless of this communication and of them wanting to communicate with you how they feel, all right, I feel like this is actually now a separate energy that we're seeing here. There's a moving away from a particular situation here, um, possibly having to do with their home life, with their family. Um, <clears throat> something that has been a very... Um, solid foundation for them. There's a major decision that is happening. Trying to make something right, trying to fix something here um, so as to move towards something more positive. All right, and I do feel like for some of them, not all of them, that will require some travel. So let's see, because then we do have the Hanged Man, which is pretty interesting. Um, but let's start with the Seven of Swords, which is what is coming up for you. We have the Empress and we have the Three of Cups. I feel like this is just a message for you to make sure that you continue to be honest with your own self. All right, this honesty is like a huge theme for you in October. It mostly has to do with um, you and your person, but it's also very important to be honest with your own self here. 
all right? Not just about how you feel about this person, but also how you feel about yourself in relation to this person, or even, you know, your your motivations behind certain, um, certain behaviors, as well as being honest with yourself about how you feel and how you truly feel and fully embracing that because if you try to just kind of sneak away from your own self from this you know waiting or from this wish that you have you know from wanting this it's not going to work you can't just kind of um brush it under under the rug if you want a reconciliation you know then okay you want a reconciliation there's nothing wrong with what it is that you desire and what, what it is that you, with what you want. It's really a matter of, okay, conquering that, owning that, and then dealing with it. You can't just wish it away. You can't wish your wishes away, basically. All right, um, so I feel like that's just the message for you here, just to make sure that you're being honest with yourself. So let's see this hanged man for them. All right, we have the two of pentacles and the two of wands. All right, two twos clarifying the hanged man. A lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating. Um, whatever it is that this person is going through, all right, because I feel like there's a lot that is happening here. Like I said, I feel like there might be um, some like major movement here, especially when it comes to um, something concerning their family or some kind of a solid foundation. I feel like there's a little bit of back and forth. So no matter, you know, what they end up doing here, even if they end up moving away from this, I feel like with this hanged man, this person is actually, you know, coming up, it's going to need some, some time possibly just to kind of um, regroup themselves or to, you know, fully be able to process the situation from this new perspective. So they might be um, a little bit unstable or a little bit like it, it's kind of like taking a break in order to process whatever this is here before they're able to um, do anything else. But that's just this is just the first couple of weeks of October. But of course, you know, time is is relevant, so it can be slightly different for each of you. Let's see the page of wands. For the potential outcome, and we have ooh, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. Give me one sec. And the Seven of Cups. I feel like options are opening up here. All right, there's something really new. I mean, a page and two two aces here. So there's a new path here that is um, beginning to open up for for the connection with you and this person, which is actually opening up a lot of doors, a lot of options, a lot of alternatives right for things to move in a direction of um, a coming back together with this ace of wands as well as a new path that seems to be pretty secure and pretty stable um, I do feel like there might still be a little bit of you know just things that need to be worked out here um, having to fully be able to bring things into some kind of of a like Making sense out of all of the all of the distractions that are happening, making sense out of all the newness of what is going on here with this person. So there might still be a little bit of that essence of okay, like what is it? What's what's going on exactly? But it's the reason why it's going to feel that way is because it's it's so new. It's like right at that very start, like about like about to start. That door is like about to open. All right, Virgo, so let's see the final message for you, if this resonated. All right, and we have the full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. I feel like that's what's happening with this person here, actually. I almost said that here um, <clears throat> with this Ace of Pentacles. 
and and the seven of cups like it's it's like things need to be grounded things just need to be put in a practical plan before they can really begin to take form so yeah those were the messages i hope it resonated and much love